So we're going to go back to the exceptions, we have this running, and we have the email working. Yeah, so the next thing you want to do, because the motion detection settings send, just sent camera one, you know, you would want a more personal name for your cameras. So let's give the cameras, let's just name our cameras. So let's go to image. Now, from here, you can put the on-screen display, right? This is what comes on the screen. This is where you change the screen name. So what pops up on the channel screen, you can change your on-screen display. So you want to come here. And here where it says camera name, this is where you go. All right? You change that to whatever you name you want. I can name it test. Cam one. Have the time format. You can get a date format. Uh, I don't have to display the week, the day of the week. I take that out. Saturday removed. I can leave that in there. You know, I don't have to display the date. I don't even have to display the name. So I could leave the display name on or off. I could take the name on or off if I want. Uh, I could display the name. All right. Display the date. That's good. I could even put more text overlay. Let's say I want to add something to it. Uh, I could put um, washroom, right? And I could move that wherever I want it to be. So if I have static things in the room, I could just put like, um, yeah, I could put, uh, not washroom, let's change that to things that are actually in the image. Fan, right? I could label this fan and then put another one. TV, 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 and I move that, say TV, I move test cam over here, right, and I could label this, what, box, yeah, to the third one, and I name it box, it's a box on a shelf, and I take the box and label it here, so I know where's what everything is on, on the screen, and I hit save. Now, to see that in motion, let's go to the live view. So remember, we just made some changes there. So we're going to enable the live view. There you go. See that? Fan, box, TV, and there's the name of the camera, test cam 1, I map the date. So you see what you can do with this. This It's amazing what you can do. All right? Now you can make this a little more, a little less, you know, uh, so it doesn't get in the way of the image, you can make it transparent. So it kind of blends with the background, it doesn't take away from the image. But if you know it's not going to take away from the image, you could just probably leave it up. Most people they don't use this function because it kind of sometimes blocks things you want to see like people's faces and whatnot. But if you have a use for it, you have a use for it. So let's go back into configuration. And we get back to the name. So. There you have it. Let me just remove all that stuff. All right. And there you go. Let me shift this to the side. I'm gonna put it here. I'll put it in, I'll leave it over here. Let's put it more to the top. All right. Save that. Now if I put um, non-transparent non and flashing or transparent and flashing. So it's not transparent and it's not flashing. So let's leave it at that. That usually is good enough, right? As I said, you can change the date, time, whatever. So, privacy mask. Let's get into that a bit. Let's discuss this. If there's a section that you don't want recorded, right? You don't want looked at or you don't want recorded, you can enable a privacy mask. Select your camera and you check enable privacy mask. Just like motion zones, you're going to set a zone. So you're going to draw an area. I think you could draw up to four areas per image. So if I don't want anyone to see what's happening on this screen in the corner here, I just draw from the corner and I make a box. 
and that is going to blank everything out from behind there. We save that. Now let's go to live view. Now on the live view, take a look. There's a black box right in the corner. All right. Now that's especially helpful. I had a situation where the camera was pointed at the restroom, the restroom entrance. And the women going in there were uncomfortable with a camera in the general direction. So to make them feel better, we just enable the privacy mask. So that way nothing is, this is how it's going to record as well. So it's not recording them going in and out. It's going to record them on the way too. But when they get to the door, like if the door is open, because you know some of the doors open, you can see inside. Yeah, it, it, it's blocked out. So you can look in there. They have privacy. That's why it's a privacy mask. So there you go. All right. So any questions, any part of this that you're not sure about, you can get in contact with me. If you have a system that you already have installed and you need someone to configure it properly, make it secure, set up all these little features, you know, set up um, line crossing, uh, zones, privacy mask, all of that, all these little tidbits. If you need somebody to do that, I'm your guy. Just hit us up and with the contact information that's going to be in the description and at the end of the video. So this is Damien from Fixwin PC. Sign off. I know I said I was going to make these videos short. But this one was a little long because I needed to go into detail. But thank you for being with me. And once again from Fixwin PC, thank you for paying attention.